I've looked through hundreds of chemistry textbooks and seen thousands of reactions. One reaction I see more often than any other one is A plus B yields C. It's in all the kinetic sections in the textbooks. It's in a lot of other sections, and it is the only reaction that always works and does exactly what it's supposed to do. And I was just overjoyed when I discovered that, in fact, there are reactions that say A and B, and you can put them together. I always thought they just made those things up. And so here I've got something that says polyurethane foam, and it says A and B. And the instructions in this thing say mix equal volumes of A and B together, and you'll get C. Or in this case, I guess you get foam. Um, your students probably have seen or purchased uh, at a hardware store or someplace like that, uh, some of those things they call uh, goop and foam and insulation products. And they may have asked you, you know, what is that stuff? How does it work? Now you know the answer. It's got A in it, and it has B in it. And you can explain it to them immediately. You put A and B together inside the can, and then it shoots out the front. Oh, well, it's nice to look at that. So it, we're going to take a look at A and B and see how they behave together. So I'm going to take some, well, it's, I bet we have to do it alphabetically. So I'll put some A in first. And I've measured out carefully a volume. That looks like enough. Now the really hard part is getting the B in because this requires calculus because this is a cone-shaped object. And to get the volume exactly the same, I have to be very careful. Now fortunately, these cool goggles that I got from Flynn are calibrated on the inside. And as I look at this, I can tell exactly when I get equal volumes. There it is. I know I'm not supposed to hold that up quite so high, am I, guys? So I'll hold it on here, and I've got exactly equal volumes. I need to stir this up. In a relatively short period of time, we'll see something interesting happen. A plus B will yield C, and it's actually starting to do that. So I'm going to set this off to the side over here and just let it go, because I want to do another one while that's starting to take off. I like this. I liked it in a cup. It's kind of neat. It goes up. I always thought it would be neater to do it in something more interesting. And I had these laying around the lab, trying to think of something to do with it. It also eliminated the necessity for calibrated goggles, because when I measure this one out, I can do it digitally. I can add. two fingers of, wait a second, my fingers are in there, so maybe I'll put another glove on. Oh, hold it, I've got a different kind of glove to wear here. Ha! I will put in, if I can get my hand in here, I will put in two fingers of A. That's accurate to two significant digits. So there goes one finger, two fingers. I get really confused sometimes when it goes in the thumb. I have no idea how much I've got in there. And I'll put in two fingers of B. Oh, look at over here. Well, that's going to be really cool inside the glove. And two fingers of B, or thereabouts. We can tie this off. Maybe, without too much trouble. I like this, too, because it's got a great mixing system. I wasn't brought up on a farm, but I really get the feeling that I could be there now. Um, let me use this for training for young farm students. And we'll mix that stuff together. And now this, by the way, uh, a little safety piece of information with this. And if, shortly, this is going to start to expand, much like this is doing. And the glove will get bigger and bigger. Occasionally, it will burst. 
And if the polyurethane foam system hasn't set yet, it'll shoot the stuff out. This is not something you're going to pass around in your class. Don't give it to you know, one of your students and have them hold it in their lap. You can see it's starting to get to grow now. Um, the principal comes in, it's a great thing to have him hold on to, or her. Um, let them go there. This does get to be just kind of like this. All right, that's, that's about set. So I'm going to put that on top of there. Will it stay? Yes! That's the polyurethane foam system in the glove. <laughs>